Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I'll share with you what we had for dinner this past week. We had some really yummy meals that were really easy and budget friendly, and most of these meals are crock pot meals. So if you'd like to see what we had for dinner, then just keep watching. The first night we had slow cooker beef and broccoli. I saw this over on Jessica O'Donohue's channel. I'll be sure to link her video in the description box below. So to get started, I'm just going to spray my crock pot liner with some cooking spray. Next, I'm going to take a sirloin steak that I've sliced into strips and add that to my crock pot. I'm then going to add beef broth, then my soy sauce. Next, the brown sugar. Next, I'm going to add the sesame oil, and I do have to admit, I thought that the amount that the recipe called for was a little much because sesame oil can be overpowering, but it was perfect. Next, I'm going to add a couple of minced garlic cloves. And finally, the recipe does not call for this, but I'm going to take Jessica's suggestion and add a little bit of this ginger paste. And finally, you'll stir this around and then put a lid on it and cook this on high for four hours. Now, I think my crock pot cooks a little bit high because my meat was almost shredded after about four hours. So next time I make this, I would only cook it for about three hours. You'll then want to mix your cold water and your cornstarch together to make a slurry and then stir that in. And finally, you're going to add your broccoli. The recipe calls for fresh. I just had some frozen on hand, so that's what I'm going to use. I just stirred it in frozen. I didn't even cook it or thaw it, but you'll wanna stir that in and cook it for about another 30 minutes. And while my beef is finishing cooking, I'm just going to cook these spring rolls that I found at the Dollar Tree in my air fryer at 400 degrees for about eight minutes, turning them halfway. These are actually really good. I recommend these. And here are our finished plates. I just made some instant white rice that I am serving along with the beef and broccoli and our spring rolls, along with a little bit of sweet and sour sauce from Kroger. Tonight, I'm going to make some pulled pork in my crock pot. I'm going to start out by spraying my crock pot liner with some cooking spray. Next, I'm going to take my pork. This is about a two and a half pound pork shoulder roast, but you can use a pork butt or even I've done this with pork loin. I'm going to add that to my crock pot and next I'm going to season it with some barbecue seasoning. I will link this recipe in the description box below. I really like this rub, but you can use your favorite barbecue seasoning. You'll wanna make sure that you season all sides. And next I'm going to add in some root beer. My dad makes the best pulled pork and he told me to add a little bit of root beer. So I've started doing it and it's really good. You can also use some Coca-Cola or some Dr. Pepper. I'm then going to add a few dashes of some liquid smoke. You really want to be careful with this. This can be really overpowering, but it gives it great flavor. Finally, I'm going to put my lid on this and cook this on low for about 8 to 10 hours or until the meat is tender. You could also cook this on high. To go along with the pulled pork sandwiches, I'm going to make some loaded baked potato salad. This is so good. So to start out, I'm just going to take some mayonnaise in a mixing bowl. I'm then going to add some sour cream. And then the recipe doesn't call for this, but I like to add in a little bit of ranch dressing. And again, I'll be sure to link the recipe in the description box below. I'm going to give that a stir. I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. You can add whatever seasonings you like, like garlic powder, seasoned salt, onion powder, whatever you like. Next, I'm going to take a couple of green onions that I've chopped up and add those. And next, I'm gonna take a few strips of bacon that I have cooked and chopped and add that along with some shredded cheese. I'm then going to stir all of that together and then I'll add my potatoes. For my potatoes, I just took a couple of russets and washed them and then cooked them in my air fryer on 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes, turning them halfway just until the potatoes are tender. But this is a great way to use up leftover baked potatoes or you can also just boil some potatoes. I then cut them into large chunks. I didn't even bother peeling them. And that's it. I suggest refrigerating this for a couple of hours before eating it, but you can eat it right away. 
And here is the finished pork. It is incredibly tender and falling apart and that's what you want. I'm going to remove this to a separate bowl and shred it. And here are our finished plates. I just have the pork on some brioche buns from Aldi. I then added some homemade barbecue sauce, but you can just use your favorite bottled sauce. And then I served it along with the loaded baked potato salad. This was so good. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to be making slow cooker chicken tacos. This is another super, super easy dinner. It takes just a couple of ingredients and it's really good. So let me show you what you'll need. You'll need some chicken, some ranch seasoning, some taco seasoning, and then a little bit of cooking spray for your slow cooker. To get started, I'm going to spray my crock pot with some cooking spray and then add my chicken. I'm using two large chicken breasts here. I'm then going to add my ranch dressing mix. I'm using about a tablespoon and a half. And finally, I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of taco seasoning for this amount of chicken. If you're using about four or five chicken breasts, just use a packet of taco seasoning and a packet of ranch dressing. Then I'm going to stir that around a little bit, cover that with a lid, and cook that on low for about four to six hours or until your chicken is cooked through and tender. To go along with our tacos, I am going to make some copycat cheesy fiesta potatoes from Taco Bell. I love these things and I'm kind of bummed they took them off their menu recently, but I feel like this recipe is just as good. So to start, I'm going to take a couple of russet potatoes that I have washed. I'm going to cut those into large chunks and place them into a bowl. Next, I'm going to take just a little bit of oil and put it over my potatoes and mix them together. Then I'm going to season these with some taco seasoning and seasoned salt and stir that to combine. I will link the recipe that I got this from in the description box below. I do vary slightly from that. Her recipe calls to add shredded cheese the last 10 minutes of baking. I omit that though, again, just because I'm going for more of a copycat Taco Bell recipe, but you can add it if you wish. Next, you'll want to take your baking dish. I'm just using a pie plate here and spray it with cooking spray just to make sure these don't stick. I'm then going to add the potatoes and I'm going to bake mine at 425 degrees for about 40 minutes. I like mine really crispy. I've also cooked these in the air fryer and they turn out really well in the air fryer. Once your chicken is done, you'll want to shred it. You can just use a couple of forks. I like to shred mine with a hand mixer and here's the chicken. To finish the potatoes, I'm just going to take them and add some of this Fritos cheddar cheese dip. You could also use nacho cheese dip or you could get fancy with your cheese, but Taco Bell just uses like the neon orange cheese dip, so that's what I'm going to use. Next, I'm going to add my sour cream. This next ingredient is optional. I'm going to add some green onions. I love the freshness that it gives. Taco Bell used to have green onions and then they took it off years ago. And here are the finished plates. You can serve these with whatever toppings you like. I've got our shredded chicken on some warmed up tortillas with some shredded cheese, shredded lettuce, some Roma tomatoes, and then our cheesy Fiesta potatoes on the side. I've also got a couple of condiments here, some Taco Bell mild sauce, some Baja sauce, and some hot sauce that we can add. And that's dinner tonight. Dinner tonight is yet another super easy crock pot meal with just a couple of ingredients. I'm going to start out by spraying my crock pot liner with some cooking spray. I'm then going to add some meatballs. I'm just using some turkey meatballs, but you can use your favorite. And then I'm going to add some pasta sauce. Again, just use whatever your family's favorite is. And then you're gonna to wanna to cover this with a lid and cook this on low for about four to six hours. You can also cook this on high for two to three hours. And here are the finished plates. So to serve this up, I just took the meatballs. I cut them in half. I just feel like they're easier to eat that way. I put them on a hoagie roll from Aldi. I topped it with a little bit of sauce and some sliced provolone cheese. I popped these in my oven, or you can also use your air fryer for a few minutes just to melt the cheese and toast the bread. And then I've just got this served with some side salads with some homemade ranch. And that's dinner tonight. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to be making Santa Fe tilapia. So I used to get this from Logan's Roadhouse all the time. Here's a picture of it from their old menu. It was my favorite dish, but they took it off the menu a few years ago. So I don't have an exact recipe for this. It's just kind of something I put together from what I remember and from the description from their old menu. But let me show you how I make it. This is really good. 
To get started, I'm going to place my tilapia on a cookie sheet that I have lined with foil and sprayed with cooking spray. I'm then going to season it with some of the Southwest Sedona seasoning that I found in my pantry. It has chili, lime, cilantro, and other seasonings. I got this from a local food specialty shop and I'm just trying to use it up. But in the past, I've used Cajun seasoning. I've also used um, the Southwest Chipotle seasoning for Mrs. Dash. That's really good. But you can also just use taco seasoning or whatever you would like. I'm going to cook my fish in a 425 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Logan served a corn and black bean salsa on top of the tilapia, so here's how I made mine. I just took a can of corn, drained it, and then warmed it up in a skillet over about medium high heat until it was slightly toasted. You do not have to toast the corn. I then added it to a can of black beans that I had rinsed and drained. I then took a couple of roasted red bell peppers, diced those up, and then added in about a half of a can of diced green chilies and stirred that together, and that's my salsa. Logan's also served this with a Chipotle ranch drizzle. So to make my own, I'm just going to take some ranch dressing. You can use homemade or bottled. I'm going to add a little bit of lime and some of these jarred Chipotle peppers. And I'm just adding the lime and the Chipotle peppers to taste. And then I'm going to stir that around and just allow it to sit until the rest of dinner is done. To go along with the tilapia, I'm going to make some loaded mashed potatoes. So I have a couple of russet potatoes that I have washed and peeled and cut into chunks. I'm gonna boil those for about 15 minutes. And here is the tilapia out of the oven. Now I'm going to finish my potatoes. So I've drained my potatoes. I've added a couple of tablespoons of butter. I'm now going to add some milk and a spoonful of sour cream. And then I'm going to take my potato masher and just mash those up until they're the consistency and thickness that I want. Next, I'm going to season this with some salt and pepper. You can also use whatever other seasonings you would like, like garlic or seasoned salt or onion powder. I'm then going to add some shredded cheese, some bacon pieces, and then I'm going to stir that together. And here are the finished plates. To serve the tilapia, you're just going to place the tilapia on your serving plate Add the corn and black bean salsa, the chipotle ranch, and then top it with some tortilla strips. To serve the potatoes, I just placed those on the plate and then added a little bit more shredded cheese, sour cream, bacon, and then some green onions on top just to garnish. And then I also have some steamed broccoli that I seasoned with salt and pepper. And that's dinner tonight. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.